I am so sad right now. And until it really hits you, you don't really feel the grief. And just anger. Rest in peace, Cartoon Network Studios. I'm on CartoonBrew.com. Rest in peace, Cartoon Network Studios, Burbank Building. 2000 to 2023. Cartoon Network Studios is vacating its animation studio in Burbank, California. The news was announced on Twitter by Brian Miller, who was the general manager of the studio from its opening in 2000 until 2021. Miller wrote on Twitter, Sadly, this building will no longer be Cartoon Network Studios. From what I've been told, everyone will be out will be out by August the 1st. All moving together in a Warner Brothers building as one animation unit. Farewell Cartoon Network Studios as it was. The 43,000 square feet three story building is located at 300 North 3rd Street. Cartoon Network spent around $1.2 million to transform the former commercial bakery or Pacific Bell building, per other media reports at the time, into its animation studio and officially opened the studio in 2000. Over the years, the studio outgrew its space and also rented space in other buildings in the Burbank Media Center area. The news of the building's closure isn't exactly a surprise. Like I told y'all, last October, Warner Brothers Discovery announced a strategic realignment in which revealed plans to consolidate its TV animation divisions by merging Warner Brothers Animation and Cartoon Network Studios. Cartoon Network Studios will continue to operate under the auspices of Warner Brothers Animation. Both studios are overseen by Sam Register, Warner Brothers Discovery has not yet officially announced where Cartoon Network staff will relocate, but our understanding is that employees will move a few miles away to the new Frank Geary Design Second Century Development, a striking pair of office buildings off the 134th Freeway. The iceberg-looking buildings, which total 800,000 square feet of space, are a adjacent to the main Warner Brothers lot in Burbank and are expected to be completed this year. As the news of the building's closure has been going viral on social media, there have been many Cartoon Network artists and former people who work in the entertainment business, such as in media, animation, voice acting, and artists who also worked in the building post their memories on Twitter. Yeah, this is very sad, man. Um, very, very sad. I kind of want to break out in tears right now because Cartoon Network Studios for the last 23 years has been, you know, really creative with animation. Um, Gendy Tartakovsky has wrote that you know, he will miss the Cartoon Network Studios. Craig McCracken said he basically was helping build the studio in 2000. And they had their opening, I believe, August 24th, 2000. The first, first grand opening of the Cartoon Network Studios. And uh, it's crazy because you have so many writers producers, voice actors, animators, the people that you don't even see on the screens. I know you have the names and the credits after the shows, and, but it's just so many people that's writing their memories and thank you notes and, and everything to this wonderful, wonderful company that we have known for 23 years as Cartoon Network Studios. And, you know, I just want to say this. Cartoon Network Studios, for the last 23 years, I'm 24. So, 
I didn't start watching the Cartoon Network till like 2002. Thank you, Cartoon Network Studios, for helping me grow up. Thank you for helping me see some of the greatest cartoon shows that I've ever seen in my entire life. And I want to say thank you to so many of the producers, so many of the writers, so many of the voice actors, the drawers, the people that write the storylines, the people that draw the characters, the people that have the coloring, colorization in the shows. Thank you to everybody that's ever worked in Cartoon Network Studios because y'all have made my life very, very exciting. And I just want to say that to all the people like Craig McCracken, Craig McCracken, Gendy Tartakovsky, uh, it's just so many people out there. Uh, Ben 10 producer, Man of Action, um, The Kids Next Door uh, 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 producer. Uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's ever made some of the greatest Cartoon Network shows, man. Like, I cannot, I cannot lie and say that y'all didn't make my life a lot better. Y'all truly did. Y'all don't know how much y'all mean to me. I mean, y'all really made me just, like, Y'all helped me a lot, man, especially through my tough times. And uh, so many iconic shows over the years, from Billy and Mandy to Ed and Eddie to Foster's Home to uh, Chowder, um, Ben 10, uh, My Jam Partners a Monkey to Camp Last. You got so many good shows, and I just thank y'all so much for 23 great awesome years it's been a freaking honor it's been a pleasure and this is not the last of the cartoon network studios they're just getting out of this building but they're going to merge with warner brothers animation and i know that's going to be like well Hanna barbera folded and they merged with warner brothers and now you have cartoon network studios merging with warner brothers well blame david zaslav his consolidation, consolidation has been going too far. At first, I was like, okay, cool. But at this point, I'm kind of getting tired of it. He's ruining a lot of stuff. He's damaging a lot of history. And he doesn't seem to care about nothing other than saving money. And, you know, I understand you got to save money. I understand Warner Brothers is in a lot of debt. While celebrating their 100th anniversary this year on top of that but you know you have to be much more of a smarter businessman you have to work and get better advertisements you have to you know work around that too because you want the people that are watching your network that are supporting your brand to keep giving you profit and you need to keep putting shows out which I'm glad you're trying to do with Unicorn Warriors Eternal and My Adventures with Superman, which is also a really good show. But you need to, I don't know, work it out, man. This, this is just really sad. I'm really sad. But at the same time, you know, Cartoon Network Studios is going to always be around. It's just really sad because when i think about the studio company i think about cartoon network fridays i think about tommy and tara i think about cartoon cartoon fridays with uh brack and uh space ghost coast to coast and you know seeing the studio with you know all the people up in there the kids tommy and tara all the puppets uh whiskers shout out to nikki uh the girl who should be like the, the girl who would narrate what's coming up next and uh, what's coming up later. Um, all that was Cartoon Network Studios. You know, it's Friday night. The Cartoon Network Fridays theme song. That was going through, I think, Cartoon Network Studios. And, uh, man, that's just really iconic. Like, we won't be seeing it at, probably at the new studio company. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong, but I don't think so. But without a do, you support Protenic. I love you forever, Cartoon Network Studios.
We won't ever forget you. May you forever rest in peace. See y'all.